We're here today to show you on a non-electric farm on what our procedures and some techniques in helping to aid you in cleaning your milk equipment. I first would like to start with explaining some of the items that would help you and, and examining some of the predetermined things that we need to do before we even start cleaning. Some of those things would be testing your water. Well, you really need to know the hardness of your water. You can either use a more design method of testing your hardness and your alkalinity, or you might want to use something like this, which would be a quick test that could show you the hardness of your water. We'll also be using some pH strips because we need to know and understand what our pH is for our chlorine and our acidic type rinses. I also have different selections of brushes here, brushes that we would use on milk pail lids, to buckets, to some of the filter tubes, to tank valves, different things. Also, a cable brush that would be used in cleaning the long vacuum hoses. And also, you want to have a good available flashlight. Uh, we need to examine sometimes on just how clean things are getting. And absolutely, a good thermometer to be able to test for your hard water or hot waters. And I also brought along a measuring cup because we, once we determine the hardness and the, the texture of your waters that we get our soaps and our acids measured properly so they can clean properly. Here's another point I'd like to bring out. Uh, the equipment that you're using to clean your, your milk equipment is essential that you're using the properly designed and good quality equipment. As you can see the one here, the brush is slowly starting to fan out. It's not going to be able to remove the proteins or the fats or anything near as well as what a proper good maintained brush or a new brush. So they don't last forever. And when you see this starting to happen, it is a good idea to start replacing your, your brushes. 